Hey YouTube, M1 American here. I wanted to do a review on the Phoenix LD41 flashlight. Um, I've been using this for a while now. I pretty much have it everywhere I go anytime I have a backpack. Or if uh, I have it in my truck if I'm going anywhere. This is not a, a great all-around flashlight and I'm a mag light guy. I really love mag lights. They're bulletproof, tough as nails, you know, they're they're not the best flashlight on the market, that's for sure. But for the cost and what you get and, you know, the reputation, they're just great. And I have the, uh, I swapped out all my old mag lights with the LEDs. Um, so they really, they have a great, great light pattern now. Um, this is now sort of what I would consider the uh, replacement to that. Uh, much smaller, much more powerful, and uh, and, and versatile. I mean, it has several modes. It's just you know built very well. A lot of good design into this. Um, but the the cost is a little bit more than a mag light with the uh, LED conversions. So we're going to go over a few uh, key points here. Um, we'll let you uh, examine the box here. So 520 max lumens. Wow. Um, no, it's not the brightest flashlight there's ever been made, but that sure is bright, I'll tell you what. Uh, see, runtime of 160 hours, but 160 hours at 5 lumens. And that's the low mode. Flip it back over here. Uh, distance throw of 200 meters? Eh, maybe. Um, and intens intensity of 10,000 CD. Uh, impact resistant of a meter, and uh, I gotta say I've already put it through a few uh, few bangs, but nothing too serious. Um, down here at the bottom, once the camera will focus, here we go. Uh, waterproof rating of IPX8 or two meters, um, and of course has four modes and SOS. Yeah, powered by four AA batteries. I love this fact. AA batteries are easy to come by um, worldwide. They're you know pretty much everywhere, um, and they they have a pretty good uh, power pack when you buy the lithium AA batteries. And uh, actually, let's go over some of the stuff on the back here. So low is five lumens, 160 hours, 80 lumens at 20 hours, that's a mid, and a high intensity of 190 lumens at 7 hours, roughly. I'd put it closer to 6, but still, 6 hours will pretty much get you through the night, depending on what time you start and what time you end, if you needed to, at high, at almost 200 lumens. That's pretty good at the value of this flashlight, which is roughly 50 to $60. Um, turbo mode, of course, 520 lumens at two hours, mm, give or take. I'd probably, you know, take a little bit off that. But uh, not too bad. I'm yet to actually replace the batteries in this thing. I have the uh, lithium, uh, Energizer lithiums in it, so four of them. And I've, they're the original batteries I've put into it, so I'm not shy of using the turbo mode at all. And I'm still running the same batteries. Awesome. Let's go over the light itself here. It has a nice case. It's pretty thick. I like that it's kind of thick. Kind of thin on the sides, definitely thicker on the front and the back. The back has a belt loop and this little loop right here. However, this is an add-on, the carabiner and the string. Um, that's just for orientation, orientating it correctly when it's connected to me. The belt loop alone, it'll actually invert upside down because they uh, so this is right side up here. They should have mounted it up higher so the weight would hang down and keep it facing down. However, the belt loop is almost centered, but the emitter head is actually heavier, so the thing always tries to flip over on me, and that drives me nuts because I don't want it, you know, falling out since the emitter head faces down the first thing that would hit. So I had to put this on there so I could connect it to uh, my pack or whatever so it, you know, orientates upright. Let's get to the light itself here. All right, so this is it. As you can tell, it has a, a semi-flat handle, so both sides of it are flat, and top and bottom are semi-rounded. Um, smooth emitter head, that is actually 
kind of strange to me because this kind of throws more of a uh, flood pattern than a uh, spot. But uh, it, it does pretty well on both, but I actually prefer the flood. I usually don't need to see super, super far distance, but I need light, you know, up close sort of, but widespread, not in a very focused, tight spot. Um, so I really like this, the uh, mitter head on this. Um, tail cap has two buttons. That's a uh, mode button, and that's a power on off. It does have the uh, tail cap that it can uh, stand upright on, so you could set it on a table, stand it upright. Um, it's real ergonomic. That flat handle really fits in your hand well, you know, it just feels good. Um, let's go over some of the modes here. So, let's see what it's on. Okay, so there's 5 lumen, and that's low. And then you have, that is the uh, mid, so we're talking 80 lumens. And then high, 190 lumens. That's pretty bright, even in person. And uh, then we have turbo, which is just piercing bright. That is just too much to look at this close at and then back to low. And then if you hold the uh, meter, or the uh, mode button, you go into strobe and SOS. And then you can turn that off back to regular and turn the light off. If you turn it back on, it remembers where you last left it and it goes right back to there. It's also a good feature to have. So if you keep it in turbo mode and you want to go back to turbo mode, it will. Or say you don't want to burn up your batteries in turbo mode and want it to stay in low, you know, turn it off and low, it comes back on and low. Great feature. So, all in all, I give this uh, flashlight a, uh, you know, five-star rating. I think this bang for the buck, for the price you get, is great. Now, this isn't something you're going to carry with you everywhere. It's not going to fit in your pocket, but it is excellent if you're carrying a backpack and you can spare a little bit of weight. It is a tad bit hefty. Let's see if we can find the weight on it. Um... Okay, there we go. Uh, 180 gram, excluding the batteries. Not really sure what that converts to in ounces. Oh, I might have to look that up and annotate it. But uh, all in all, I don't mind the weight. For what it gives me, it's uh, extremely valuable. Um, I have other flashlights I take with me, usually a, a, a helmet light or hat light, you know, and then uh, my little Phoenix. E11. I always have this with me, and sometimes I even have another flashlight on top of that. But uh, all in all, I give this a, a great, you know, two thumbs up on this guy. Um, might even look into getting the uh, upgrade from this, which is the 800 lumen version of the LD series. A um, little bit more pricey, though. I think it went between 60 and 70 bucks. So uh, we'll have to. Uh, well, we'll have to see. I really like this light for now, and think it does great for what it's what its value, you know, is. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm kind of tired and uh, kind of rambling. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, leave your comments. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave your comments and questions below, and I will try and respond back to you. I have more videos coming out. I'm gonna try and be a little better at posting videos now. I've been away for a while. So have fun, get out there, be safe, and I will talk to you guys later. All right, peace out.